The bunnies of Isaac saw a little child, and his mother lived in a small house on a hill. Both together were happy and stuff like that, and the little thing was playing around, minding its own business when mom was watching TV. A humble family, I would say. And all of a sudden, all that happiness was ruined by the religion that mother believed in. And all of a sudden, the voice from above goes, Ah, uh, your son is very, very evil and you have to get rid of it or help him not to sin anymore. So take all that garbage away from him. All that technological crap goes away. Yep, yep, there you go. And the guy was like, Oh, there's only my dick left. And the mother goes, all right, I'm happy now. But the voice wasn't happy. He said, you have to isolate him from the rest of the world. And the rest of the world have been watching you. How are you isolating them? And the mother goes, yes, for that. Believe in religion, I'll do anything. Whoever the voice was, the child was isolated and separated from mother. But the voice wasn't happy at all. And he comes again and says, mother of that violent son. Take a knife off the kitchen and sacrifice your son in the name of unknown voice from above. <laughs> and mother goes like, yeah, all right, not a problem. Let's make it happen. All right. And all of a sudden, voice said, yes, do it. Do it for me in the name of unknown voice from above. So mother said, yes, yes, I'll do it for you. So she grabbed a knife. And she goes after his precious son. But the son looked at through that crack in the door, stumbled and shaked, and kind of, Oh my God, let me out, you motherfuckers! And all of a sudden, there was a door in the floor covered with a rug. So, the trap door was open, and the guy jumped in there. Poor Isaac. And mom realized the guy has escaped. And that's the end of the story right now. And we will continue with completing that game stage by stage and see where that will lead us. Whee!